There are countless root beer brands on soda shelves nowadays, and the ingredients used in them aren't uniform, so we've gone ahead and ranked them for you. Not every brand made the cut, but we've made sure to include all of the most popular ones. The long and storied history of mug root beer dates all the way back to the 1940s, when it was known as Belfast Root Beer. While this variety is one of the most ubiquitous brands in the United States, the unfortunate truth is that it's not very good. The problem that sinks mug is its inescapable sweetness. Root beer is supposed to be somewhat sweet, but mug just goes way too far in that direction. Instead of a rich, complex flavor profile, it tastes like carbonated sugar water. When it first hits your taste buds, the sweetness is immediately off-putting. And tragically, the aftertaste manages to somehow be even sweeter. Unless you have a truly battle-hardened sweet tooth, you'll be ready to move on after only your first sip of this sugary disaster. The best thing about Zevia's root beer is that it contains no calories. Sadly, that's about the one and only positive thing we can say about it. There are two options with Zevia, but both of them are really bad. The creamy root beer tastes like it's been watered down, while the ginger root beer has a harsh bite that will leave you immediately regretting your decision to crack open a can. If you're desperate for root beer that has zero sugar and zero calories, there are much better options on the market. Simply look for diet versions of the root beer brands at the top of this list, and you'll be much happier with your selection. Aesthetically, there's a lot to love about Frosty Root Beer. Not only does it share a name with the legendary dessert from Wendy's, but Santa Claus, or someone who looks like him, appears on the label. He even has a giant smile on his face, even though he appears to be in the middle of a blizzard. Unfortunately, any jolliness you may feel while looking at that holiday scene will soon evaporate once you take a swig of this root beer. As with Mug, the first thing you'll notice with Frosty is an overbearing amount of sweetness. Instead of root beer, it tastes like nothing more than liquefied candy. Once you survive the sweetness, you're met with the minty aftertaste that has an odd toothpaste-like flavor. That at least offers a little bit of a reprieve from the sweetness onslaught, but it'll get old quickly. Even if it's Christmas time, ignore the Saint Nick on the label and pick a better brand. Dad's Root Beer has an instantly recognizable label that features blue letters outlined in red on a yellow background. This beverage was created in the 1930s in Illinois, and it didn't take long for Dad's to become one of the most popular root beer brands in the country. To this day, you can find it from coast to coast and even internationally. If you sample the aroma of Dad's before you take a sip, you'll be thoroughly impressed. It smells like the perfect combination of licorice and vanilla with just a hint of wintergreen. But once it enters your mouth, you'll be disappointed. That's simply because the flavor is underwhelming. Within a few mouthfuls, your taste buds will be bored stiff. To make matters even worse, Dad's also has an unsatisfactory amount of carbonation, lending it a certain flatness that renders it even more yawn-inducing. Of all the root beer brands on this list, Bundaberg is far and away the most unique. First of all, it comes in what appears to be an old-fashioned medicine bottle. That's actually not surprising, as root beer was originally used as a medicine. So you can pretend to be an old-timey apothecary as you drink this brand. Additionally, the bottle says that you need to turn it upside down before you open it to ensure that the liquid is properly mixed. Bundaberg's taste is unlike that of any other root beer you've ever tried. While it's not hard to find it in America, it was actually created by a family-owned business in Australia back in 1960. It's a story that started with mum, dad, my wife and I, now up to its fourth generation. Compared to American root beer, this stuff has almost no sweetness and instead tastes more like a combination of licorice and cough syrup, although it does have a molasses-infused aftertaste. If you think that every root beer you've ever tried is too sweet, try Bundaberg. Otherwise, opt for something else. While WBC Chicago-style root beer has its pluses, it's not quite tasty enough to be worthy of a full-throated recommendation. On one hand, you're very likely to enjoy its strong vanilla aroma, its creamy texture, and the fact that it's made with real sugar instead of high-fructose corn syrup. But alas, the more sips you take, the less you'll enjoy the experience. First of all, the carbonation is almost overpowering. Even if you drink it slowly, each sip will feel more and more like a nose-invading chore. There's also a slightly bitter aftertaste to contend with that will eventually become impossible to ignore. Overall, WBC Chicago style is okay in small doses, but you should think twice before reaching out for a second bottle. Once upon a time, Stewart's root beer was one of the most flavorful beverages of its kind. The brand can trace its roots back to 1924, when founder Frank Stewart decided to make the world's finest root beer. After concocting a recipe to his liking, he opened Stewart's Drive-In, and his root beer was the star of the show. While you can still find Stewart's Drive-In restaurants in the United States if you look hard enough, these days it's much easier to just buy bottles of Stewart's root beer. That's because it's now owned by the Keurig Dr. Pepper Company. Sadly, this means that the root beer no longer has the same distinctive flavor it had all those decades ago. The modern iteration of Stewart's just tastes like generic root beer that you can find at any any supermarket. It's not terrible, but it's nothing special. 
Sioux City root beer has a deep, rich flavor and enough cane sugar to keep the party rocking. The aftertaste is a little bit lacking, but otherwise, this is a high-quality root beer that's worth a try. And if you like Sioux City root beer, you'll absolutely adore Sioux City sarsaparilla, which tastes like it's made of 60% cream soda and 40% root beer. That may sound strange, but your taste buds will declare that it's yummy. You got a good sarsaparilla? Sioux City sarsaparilla? Yeah, it's a good one. Although sarsaparilla beverages have a history in the Americas dating back centuries, the FDA actually outlawed using real sarsaparilla in 1960, as the genuine stuff contains potentially carcinogenic compounds. Thankfully, there are now much safer alternatives that keep the flavor going strong, without the potential risk of poisoning, and Sioux City offers one of the best options out there. If you're in the mood for a complex root beer, opt for a bottle of Virgil's Handcrafted. This brand is supercharged with more than a dozen different roots, flavors, and spices, including sweet birch, nutmeg, cinnamon, and anise. If you find typical root beer to be too bland, then opt for Virgil's to add some real spice to your life. And as the name suggests, this root beer is created in small batches to help ensure its quality. We are all Virgil. While all root beer tastes better when it's cold, you need to make sure that Virgil's Handcrafted is as cold as ice before you take a sip. If it's room temperature, it can actually come off as somewhat gross, as all the competing flavors will instantaneously overwhelm your senses. But that's not an issue if it's served up cold. Virgil's also makes a zero-sugar root beer that's an excellent alternative if you want a sugar-free treat. It tastes very similar to the original, with the main difference being a somewhat more muted aftertaste. IBC root beer has been a favorite among soda aficionados since it first hit the market in 1919. It used to be among the very best, although it has slipped a little bit in recent years, as it's gotten sweeter and sweeter recently. The best characteristic of IBC is its delicious combination of vanilla and licorice flavor. The added sweetness somewhat interferes, but both flavors are still strong enough to make you grin from ear to ear. If you've never taken a sip of IBC, you should do so as soon as you can. If it keeps getting sweeter, it could eventually be ruined as the more complex flavors get drowned in all that sugar. But right now, it's still worth recommending. Sprecher Brewing Company is a Milwaukee, Wisconsin-based craft brewery that was founded in 1985. It makes a variety of beers and sodas, including its marvelous root beer. Even if you have to travel a long distance to get your hands on the soft drink, it's well worth the effort. All it will take is one swig for you to be a fan for the rest of your life. Two aspects of Sprecher root beer will catch your attention. First, the creaminess makes it a joy to drink and sets it well apart from the competition. Second, the subtle yet unmistakable flavor of honey takes it to the next level. Once you drink a couple of bottles, you'll wonder why more root beer brands don't add honey to their recipes. Sprecher also makes a maple root beer that exchanges the honey for maple syrup. It tastes good and has a distinct flavor that you might enjoy, but it's not quite as wonderful as the original. We treat the soda process the same as we treat the beer process. What's the best part about Bark's root beer? It's bite, of course. Bark's root beer, the one with bite. That bite comes in many forms, but primarily, it's clear in the sharp yet clean aftertaste that provides a jolt of happiness in your mouth. Barks also has a smidgen of black licorice flavor, which adds an indisputable bite to the flavor profile. Furthermore, it has the optimal amount of carbonation. It's strong enough to keep things exciting, yet loving and gentle enough to make sure you continue to have fun. Barks is also famous for being one of the few mass-produced root beers to include caffeine in the mix. If you need an extra amount of pep in your step, this delicious brand of root beer is up to the task. While Barks didn't quite land in first place in our ranking, it was really close. All told, you can't go wrong with either of the top two choices. When you want to drink the best root beer money can buy, A&W is what you should go with. Its smooth flavor promises to make it a hit for people of all ages. It's complex enough to satisfy a true root beer connoisseur, yet it's serene and velvety enough for kids to enjoy it just as much. The legend of A&W began when a man named Roy Allen sold root beer at a stand in California in 1919. A few years later, Frank Wright was brought on board and the pair started opening multiple root beer places in the state. Taking a cue from their initials, the two men named their chain A&W, and the rest is history. More than a hundred years later, this root beer is still as beloved as it was when it first caught on. No matter how you drink A&W root beer, you can't go wrong. If you drink it out of a can, you'll love it. If you go to an A&W restaurant and drink it out of a frosty mug, you'll also love it. Or if you have a root beer float for dessert, nothing tastes as great as mixing the ice cream with A&W root beer. Simply put, A&W is a big hit in any situation for any crowd. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite foods and drinks are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.